Welcome back to my channel. I am Best Cat 8 and today I thought I'd share something really special with you guys. It is a tour of my mom's backyard and her garden. So if you're interested, then come with me. Why comfortable? I know. Dang, mom. <laughs> you think but, you got enough you know, stuff? So you guys should know that my mom's always changing something, rearranging, repurposing, upgrading, because that's just what she does. She enjoys spending so much time outside that we gave her a television and she had it bolted outside on the side of the house. And um, she's really creative. You'll see that she painted a green rug in front of the table. And you'll also see that she likes frogs and butterflies. So you guys, I brought you over so you could see my mom's beautiful home in her backyard so you can get an idea of what it looks like and kind of how I grew up and what I'm accustomed to. This is my mom's garden and her beautiful home. If you guys can see what the outside looks like, then you could probably imagine what the inside looks like. If I can, I'll see if I can give you a sneak peek if she lets me. So you will see that my mom likes color. Her backyard is colorful. It's lively, it's fun, and um, but it's also calming and it has a spiritual feel to me. I love how she transformed her space to be more than just a backyard, but outdoor living. It's cozy and relaxing, but she still has her garden, her spa, her hammocks, she's got seating area and even a television. She has um, a romantic little bohemian hideaway over off to the side. It really is a multi-purpose space. And I love how she made it uniquely hers. I think there's something to having your surroundings created or designed specifically to your own liking. What better way to celebrate you than to open up your eyes and see all the things around you that makes you feel good, makes you happy, puts you in a good mood, and makes you smile. You know, it's strange that sometimes I see people and they have these scowls on their faces. You know, like my mom's retired, so um, she has the time to go and tinker in the backyard and, and do all her magic back here and create. And um, I'm really happy that this is how she spends her time doing things that she enjoys. But I see people sometime and I'm wondering what have they been doing with them with their lives? Like they have the scowl on their faces. They don't look happy. They're not smiling. It's like, what's going on in your head? Like, how are you spending your time or have, how have you spent your time? And what are you saying to yourselves? Like what, who are you surrounding yourself with? Like, You've got to go out there and do things that make you happy and spend time with people that make you happy. And I feel like it really is a choice. Like we can control that. So if you're out there and you're not feeling good about yourself or you're not feeling good about life, then find some things that make you happy. Find out what you like. Find out the people that love you and will uplift you and go spend your time with those people doing those things. With all that being said, my time affords me a teeny tiny garden, but my mom's garden is on a whole nother level and it's harvest time. This summer, we've enjoyed strawberries and watermelons, and she's actually grown so much that she's had to give a lot of fruits and veggies away. That's my mom's personality. She's a very giving person. And um, if you leave it to my mom, you'll never go hungry. I have one older brother and each holiday when my mom would cook, she would cook like she was cooking for an army and there'd be three or four of us. We would always have so much food that my mom would just fill up um, Tupperware containers and then she would go around and hand them out to friends and family and neighbors. And so she's always cooked on a large scale and she's always gardened like this ever since I can remember. As you can see, she also grows herbs. I need to give this to somebody who listen to me. I have this very fresh 
Thank you. <laughs> These are turnip greens. And she also has collard greens. And you'll see lettuce and um, pickles and carrots. There's squash, peppers, and cabbage. There's also chives, beets, and she planted two different types of tomatoes. So you'll see a whole lot of tomatoes. So funny story, um, my husband took me to Hawaii for about a month. And right before we got ready to leave, my mom called and said, hey, bring me back some elephant ears. And I went to um, Home Depot and Lowe's and I couldn't find the elephant ears. And then I called around and no one had them available. So finally a guy told me there's elephant ears everywhere. You can just grab one. And so I thought, well, okay, you know, no big deal. They're like, they grow like weeds in Hawaii. It's a native plant and so they're everywhere. When you're driving down the road, all you see is elephant ears. And I can see why she wanted it because this alocasia tropical plant has really impressive leaves. It actually symbolizes the tree that grows up to the heavens, like in the fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk. And it stands for seizing the opportunity when they arise, even when they're risky. So I grabbed my mom, you know, a little root. I didn't think much of it. I wrapped it in some uh, wet paper towel and put it in a baggie and tossed it in my luggage. And then when we went through customs, the security stopped me and they were like, do you have something in your bag? And I was like, oh yeah, the root. Um, I was a little concerned because I thought that I might be in a lot of trouble because that's like illegal. <laughs> but he was really cool. He um, said, just take it to the restroom and go and rinse off the soil. And then you're welcome to take it through and you have the elephant ear plant to give to your mom. So I thought that was really nice. Lucky for me, he was understanding. And now my mom has beautiful elephant ears brought back by yours truly, growing in her backyard. <laughs> You guys, my mom does it all. Anything domestic, she enjoys doing. She bakes, she cooks, she's a seamstress, she gardens. I don't know, for some funny reason, the creator didn't give me a really strong domestic gene. <laughs> Although my mom did teach me how to cook and sew and bake, I'm just not a real fan of it. But it's okay, I have other talents. And lucky for me, I'm blessed to have a mom who's so amazing at all of it. I really can't say enough about the benefits of being brought up by such a nurturing parent. Also, my niece and nephew are vacationing with us for the summer. I brought them to visit their nanny. We picked our fruits and veggies, and then we came back to my house to make pizza. And of course, the kids can never get enough of our home theater. So I'm leaving them to play their games and I'm going to take the fruits and veggies that I grabbed at my mom's house and I'm gonna to head to the kitchen and start prepping for our pies. We have our Mama Mary's uh, original pie crust today. We picked our fresh fruits from the garden and everything else that we'll be using to make our pies um, will be plant-based as well. 
We're gonna be using the Dyer Shreds, uh, mozzarella and cheddar, and then we're also going to be using um, sausage, Beyond Sausage. So everyone kind of has their own idea of how they want their pizza made and what they want their toppings to be. So we've got a variety of things to go on top of our pies and we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Let me tell y'all, I used to work for Domino's Pizza when I was in high school. I have made hundreds of pizzas. So I am a self-proclaimed pizza yola. It says it right here on my bracelets. Yep, it is what I say it is. And I hope every woman will have the same mindset. And if I see you, I just might give you a bracelet as a reminder that it is what you say it is. My favorite part is tossing and spinning the dough, literally. But you also need to know how to cook the sausage. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the oven. The pies actually don't take that long to cook. I'm gonna set them at 425, and I think we'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Um, the work part is the prepping, the chopping, the dicing. Um, making the pie is actually the fun part, adding your favorite toppings on it, and it goes by pretty quickly, so these pizzas will be ready to eat before we know it. So the kids all chose their delectable pie toppings of choice. Actually, my son, he kept it really simple. He likes cheese pizza. So um, his will probably be the first one to go in. And um, I think today I'm gonna have pesto, um, tomato sauce, some extra garlic, the two different cheeses. I like olives and spinach, sausage, and jalapeno because I like it hot. And on my husband's, he wants me to add some mushrooms, tomatoes, he likes red and green peppers, and onions on his pies. He likes pumpkins pies because they're irresistibly delicious, of course. So uh, what do you guys like on your pizzas? So I think we've made a total of five pies and they're all ready to be popped into the oven. So I like to clean as I go so that there's not a lot of work left when I'm done cooking, when I do cook. But I thought I'd take a little water break because it's very important to stay hydrated. This is an infinitely clear canteen. If you guys are interested in supporting my merch, you can head over to infinitelyclear.com and get you a water bottle so that you can have a reminder that it is what you say it is too.
Okay, you guys, we've got the pies out of the oven and they're looking pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Is it cheesy? Mm -hmm. Are you proud of yourself? Mm -hmm. I should have sold this pizza. <laughs> okay, y'all, the highly anticipated piping hot moment of truth. Let's see. We have a thin yet firm crust with some scattered charred bits on the edges, all with the topping spread fairly even. In my opinion, my pizza was crunchy, rich, and just cheesy enough. It's everything I expected. <laughs> just one bite and all your dreams will come true. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I also hope that you guys are filling up your pies with all the toppings that your taste buds can imagine. Well, that's all the pie that we have left. So like if you love pizza. And thanks for watching.